In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Stitch Tension Release feature to help detect pattern errors and improve the 3D fit. As you can see, we have some drag lines between the bust and the neck, but we don't know what the cause is. We'll use the Stitch Release to separate the pieces and view them. We release the stitch almost to the maximum to allow the fabric to drape naturally. We can see in that there are waves in the facing and the front body. This means there is excess fabric. We'll use the pen tool to mark the exact areas that need to be edited. We'll duplicate the front piece for a pattern correction test. We don't want this piece to influence the whole garment, so we turn off the Use in 3D checkbox. We'll use the mark as a slice line and rotate the sliced piece to eliminate some of the excess fabric. Before moving on, we need to merge these two pieces. The merge feature creates a third piece. We keep the new piece and delete the other two. We want to have the same amount of corner points as the original shape. To achieve this, we delete the extra points and smoothen the lines. Now we'll compare the length of the new piece with the facing front piece. There's one centimeter difference. We'll split this one centimeter to half, five millimeters. We slide down the shoulder. For the five millimeters, we'll use slash and close. To replace the two front patterns, we first use shift and click to select both pieces. Then we go to the Resources tabs. On the 2D part, we click the hamburger icon to display a menu. We click Replace Pieces, then Between Two Selected. We need to set the stitch release back to zero. We click Dress, and now we see that the wrinkles are gone. To clean up the file, we'll delete the unnecessary pieces and implement the spread. And that's how you can use the Stitch Tension Release feature to help improve your design and improve 3D fit. For more information, visit the Help Center at support.browseware.com.